Anthony Gordon's controversial second-half winner clinched Newcastle a 1-0 win against Arsenal, whose unbeaten Premier League start was halted at St James a Park. Gordon's close-range finish was confirmed as a goal after a triple VAR check, and was all that separated the two sides in an attritional encounter of few chances. The Gunners slipped to their first defeat in 11 league games this season, while victory for Newcastle was affirmation that they can continue to mix it with the big guns. The Gunners slipped to their first defeat in 11 league games this season, while victory for Newcastle was affirmation that they can continue to mix it with the big guns. But the headlines are about VAR rather than the game, the goal had three VAR checks, to see if the ball went out of play, if there was a foul and if there was an offside, all coming back in Newcastle's favour. Arteta's frustrations with match officials and VAR finally boiled over following the full-time whistle at St James Park on Saturday evening. The Arsenal boss vented his frustrations to reporters in his press conference, after tasting defeat in the Premier League for the first time this season. The Arsenal manager said in his post-match press conference, I feel embarrassed, but I have to be the one now coming here to try to defend the club and please ask for help, because it's an absolute disgrace that this goal is allowed it's an absolute disgrace. Because it's not a goal for many reasons it's not a goal, for more than one reason at least, it's not a go, and it's too much at stake here. We put so much effort, it's so difficult to compete at this level, and it's an absolute disgrace. Again, I feel embarrassed having more than 20 years in this country, and this is nowhere near the level to describe this as the best league in the world. I am sorry. Arteta's comments are naturally very critical of the referees and talk straight after centred on whether he could be slapped with a heavy fine from the Football Association FA, but he could avoid being punished for his words based on previous cases. The Arsenal boss clearly felt that he had been wronged by match officials on Saturday evening, which ultimately cost his side points in the title race. Now speaking in a statement on their website, Arsenal have backed their manager's comments and called on the PGMOL to do more to avoid further mistakes. Arsenal Football Club wholeheartedly supports Mikel Arteta's post-match comments after yet more unacceptable refereeing and VAR errors on Saturday evening, it read. We'd also like to acknowledge the huge effort and performance from our players and travelling supporters at St James's Park. The Premier League is the best league in the world with the best players, coaches and supporters, all of whom deserve better. Pomol urgently needs to address the standard of officiating and focus on action, which moves us all on from retrospective analysis, attempted explanations and apologies. Dorgino has become the first Arsenal player to make their feelings clear after Saturday's controversial 1-0 loss away to Newcastle. The game was decided by a second-half Anthony Gordon goal that fueled fierce debate on the pitch as well as off it with both managers, giving opposing views whilst fans and pundits alike all gave their opinions too. Dorgino took to social media on Sunday morning to vent his frustration, writing, proud of the team. Unacceptable what happened though. But we keep fighting. Dorgino was taken off with his team chasing the game late on but Fabio Vieira was unable to make the desired impact from the bench. Arsenal goalkeeper David Raya has also voiced his frustrations with the refereeing. Raya came out firing, claiming that centre-back Gabriel Mogales was definitely fouled by Newcastle midfielder Joe Linton. He said what I could see was the ball went out of play, and then after going to the dressing room, looking back at the goal, it's a big foul on Gabby. He's pushing him with two hands on his back when he's about to clear the ball. On the other hand, it could have been an offside position, that's harder to see. But the ball is out of play and the foul is a massive decision that's just going to cost us some points. We're really frustrated.